Now my personal expertise is I'm an electrical engineer. I have a lot of background in, in RF, in general electronics, analog, um, sensitive electronics. And this system takes, you know, uses a lot of that expertise. We've got one, two, three small RF supplies. We've got at least three large RF supplies. But in addition to that, we have a lot of vacuum knowledge that goes into this instrument. We have a lot of thermo uh, knowledge, you know, how to cool things down quickly, heat them back up again. Uh, we have a lot of machining for custom parts. A lot of the ion guide optics, a lot of the uh, ion traps and um, interfaces in this instrument are custom made. So the Amy facility does all of that. The students do a lot of chemistry in this uh, device, you know, take the ions down the path, turn them, make them cold, shoot a laser at them. I don't know everything that they do to it. Uh, I have a decent idea in a general layman's terms, but that's not my job. My job is to help them do what they need to do to get the ions to do what they want. So my expertise is in uh, taking their general requirements. I need to apply 10,000 volts of one megahertz RF to this ion trap and find a way to do that. So we've got small RF traps that do that, um, or supplies. We've got larger RF supplies. These are obviously home-built, custom-made. This one was, was built by the Amy facility, and I've learned its ins and outs. And the thing is, I can modify it to do all kinds of different things that an off-the-shelf RF supply may not be able to do. Since I know everything about this RF device, I can go in and modify it given a student's needs for the day. I can sit down, figure out what the requirements are, think of a way to make it possible with this, make the modifications, bring it back, see if it's something that they can use, and if it's not, I make another change and put it on their system, very quick turnaround time, which is something you can't do with a commercial instrument without a lot of support from that company. So with a commercial RF supply, for instance, I may not have the knowledge to know which parts to change, which parts to modify, which things to leave alone without a lot of assistance from that company. And there may be a long lead time in getting that assistance. But that's the real strength of the Amy facility is being able to take the requirements that the students have, turn them around as quickly as possible and get them testing to see if their ideas are going to be feasible or not, and if not, finding another way to do what they want to do and get them the results that they need in a very timely fashion so they're not waiting on something to ship from somewhere else in the world. They can be focusing on what they do best, which is the science. And in that process, they also learn what it takes to make things like this.